Just your first impression. What's the first thing that you notice? I'm confused. I'm confused. All right. Well, that's a good place to be. Look around and see what's this confusing place. Um, that word jumping to my mind is forest. Forest. Very good. So I want you to focus on that word. Focus on what a forest feels like. And I want you to just use all of your senses to be drawn to that word, to that feeling of forest, until you begin to see what's happening there. I don't know why I'm crying. That's okay. Crying are beautiful feelings. Allow that, those tears to come. What is it about this forest that makes you cry? Feel it. Allow the forest to show itself around you. What do you imagine it to look like? When I say forest, my heart beats different. Mm -hmm. Very good. So allow yourself to be in that forest that your heart loves so much. Begin to imagine it. A tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> What do you feel? I don't know why I'm crying. That's okay. You can cry. Allow yourself to cry. You need to pull it all out. All that emotion. What do you see in your mind's eye? I'm a tree. No wonder I love trees so much. Mm -hmm. I'm a tree. Very good. What kind of tree are you? Look at yourself. Oak tree. An oak tree. Mm -hmm. And I love birds. I love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me your connection with the birds. <laughs> I feel like they're talking to me. Mm -hmm. They say hi to them. Mm -hmm. I love them. I love them. So I'd like for you to just extend your love to these birds. Extend your love to them. And tell me how they feel it. How do they feel your love? They are so happy when I care for them. Mm -hmm. They're so happy when you care for them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your relationship with these beautiful birds. I just take care of them. Mm -hmm. How do you care for these birds? I feed them. I feed them. What do you feed them with? The seed, my fruit. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel that love. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> How many birds come to visit you? All kinds of different birds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have different languages. Mm -hmm. What kind of language do you speak with these birds? I say hi to all of them, and they just know. Mm -hmm. Like they say hi to me back. Mm -hmm. And look around the forest where you are. Are there others that are like you? Other yeah, there are lots of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Connect with them. How do you speak with the others? We have the roots. 
we have the roots. Tell me more about how you communicate with the others. <sighs> like we just know we're connected and the roots. We know each other how we feel. Mm -hmm. Can you extend beyond the trees to others? What do you mean? Can you communicate with the rocks? Oh, with... interesting. I don't know. Let's find out. What else can you communicate with while you're in the forest? Wind. <laughs> How are you connected to all the other things in the forest? I have the fairy in there. What do you have? The fairy. You have the fairies? Yeah. How many fairies do you see now? I don't know. They're so tiny and beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of relationship do you have with the fairies? I feel like I take care of them, and they take care of me, too. Mm -hmm. So enjoy your communication. Let's find out more about them. They love to fly. They love to fly. Do you watch them fly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I imagine how fly feel like. Mm -hmm. I feel their happiness. You feel their happiness. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the birds and the fairies. The birds and the fairies all flying around you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my branch can reach far, far, far. Your branch can feel, can reach far away. Yeah. Uh -huh. It spread. How big are you? Oh. Are you a large? I feel like I'm very big. You're very big. Are you an old oak tree? Very old. Mm -hmm. Very old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So with your age, what do you know? What do you know that you can share with others? What knowledge do you have? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Love is the key. Love is the key? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me about that. <laughs> Love is the key to cure. Love is the key to cure? <laughs> what are we curing? You know, sometimes the person comes underneath the tree. They're so sad. They're so sad that they're small. <laughs> mm -hmm. What happens when someone sits beneath your tree when they're sad? Are you able to help them? Yes. How do you help them with your love? I have my love around them. I want to tell them love is the key. Love is the key. Love is so powerful. Love is so powerful. Mm hmm Yeah, the people, they think hate is so powerful. Actually. No. Love is... 
Love has all the power. Love has all the power. <laughs> yeah. So how is it that when someone sits underneath your beautiful tree with all the branches, and they're so sad, how can you use that love to make them happy? I think I can light up the. I connect with them. You connect with them. Mm -hmm. They feel the vibration from. Mm -hmm. What does your vibration feel like to them? And they branch like an arm mm. holding them. Mm, like an arm holding them. Yeah, they feel love and care. Mm -hmm. Love and care from the tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want them to come to me so I can help. Mm -hmm. They want to help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what happens when someone doesn't live near trees? <laughs> what happens when there are no trees where they live? How can you help them? <laughs> How can I help them? I want them to come to the forest. Mm -hmm. I have the power, but they have to connect with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel sad when they live in the building. Mm -hmm. It makes you sad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They live in the building, they watch TV, they disconnected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, when they're sitting in their building disconnected, what happens to them? <sighs> they caught up on the 3D world, they come close. The boss. Mm -hmm. They forgot. Mm -hmm. They're more concerned about their money and their bosses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're concerned about the power, but you know, <sighs> I want to say wrong way, but I don't say. I don't want to say wrong way. They, is longing for the power, but in a wrong way. Mm -hmm. And what if someone brings trees into their building? Are they able to make themselves feel that love? Or is it just in the forest? Better in the forest because it's not only one tree, it's mm -hmm. all the trees. It's all the trees that yeah. help. And Gaia. Mm -hmm. It's Gaia helping too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the time. Gaia's always helping. <laughs> what kind of energy is Gaia sending to the people who visit the forest? <laughs> It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So much love. Now, good Gaia, I love you so much. And Gaia loves you so much. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Even humans did not see. The humans don't notice it. <laughs> humans did a lot of things to hurt Gaia. Mm -hmm. Humans are doing things to hurt her. Yeah, but Gaia still loves humans so much. Mm. <laughs> it's so strange, like a mom. <laughs> so Gaia is the mom of humanity? Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what kind of love does Gaia send? 
Does she send out the same type of love as the trees? Or is it different? I feel like the same. The same. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Who am I really is? Connect with that information. Is Gaia the same energy of the tree? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if Gaia is the same energy of the trees, are you able to tap in to this mother? I'd like for you to just take your roots and tap in to the wisdom of Gaia, of Mother Nature. And let's ask a question of Gaia. What does Gaia need for everyone to know at this time? We can get the power by power ways. We can get that power. Everybody wants the power, but they learn in a wrong way. The human thought they got power by power over others. But no, we can get power by power with others. So we need to get the power by being with others, connecting with others? Yeah, connecting, cooperation, and creating together. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't need to yell others, we don't need to control others. Mm -hmm. Power with, it's a more powerful way more powerful ways with the others. Is this how the trees connect with each other? Yes. Mm -hmm. They know how to do it, don't they? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. So the trees, is, their power is by connecting with each other underneath by their roots? Is that what they do? Yeah, and they help each other, you know. They help each other. They send the energy or nutrition between different trees. Mm -hmm. They even have the uh, guy landing to borrow the nutrition and give it back. So if one tree needs nutrition, yeah, it borrows it from another one? Yes. Until it feels strong? Yeah. And then it gives it back? Yeah. They what? could borrow in the spring and they can get back in the fall. It's mm. so beautiful. Beautiful. That's a beautiful way of living, isn't it? Yeah. So why have we lost that information with the humans? How have the humans lost that? Yeah. What happened? Misguided. Mm, they've been misguided. It's guiding the Bible. By the Bible? Hmm. Bible was misguided. Bible is not original. It's not original? Yeah. What happened? <sighs> Changed by some hunger, power people. Mm -hmm. Some powerful people changed the information in the Bible? Some power hunger people mm -hmm. power hungry right mm -hmm. what was it that the bible said before these powerful people changed the information in it everyone has the power mm. everyone has the power yeah everyone has the power We have our own power. 
We have our own power. Everyone is so powerful. Everyone is its own God. Everyone is its own God. So why is it that we don't know how to use that power if we have it? <laughs> they forgot how to follow their heart. They forgot how to follow their heart. If now the brain disconnected. The brain disconnected. Even though the left brain and right brain. Mm hmm. Between the left and right brain. Yeah, they should connect. How do we connect that left and right brain so that we can now use that power? Use it and follow our heart. I have so much you want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead and speak. We're listening. Allow that information uh, to just flow so we can understand and learn. I feel like I have so much you want to say and I don't know where to start. Mm, well, just start somewhere. Uh, let's see. Left and right. Left and right. You know, in school, uh, we, the old way to do in the school, they only emphasize on one side of brain. Mm -hmm. What happens when a child goes to school and you emphasize just that one side of the brain? Yeah, and they deny the another side of the brain. Mm -hmm. You deny the other side? Yeah, so they disconnect it. Mm -hmm. How old is it? How old is a child usually when that side of that brain disconnects? Oh, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. The word coming to my mind is when they stop playing. When they stop playing. Mm -hmm. You know, play is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. But the parents stop kids playing. <laughs> stop. So what would you like to tell the parents who have small children who want to play? Just let them play. Their brain working in magic. Mm -hmm. Let kids pr play freely. Let the kids play freely. Yeah, don't ask a kid to play your way. Mm -hmm. Do not desire a game for the kid. Don't desire any games for the kids? Yeah, mm -hmm. the kids desire a game for themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know why right now I feel something in my heart I cannot speak of. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in that heart. That's keeping it from speaking uh, out. On my throat, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that information. I'd like for you to go ahead and see this that's blocking the heart and the throat. Uh, it's what is on it? the left side. Mm, on the left side. Take a look and see. What is this blockage? Is it something that perhaps was created by Young Fei? What is that? Oh, I don't know. It's been there a long time. Mm -hmm. Just because something has been there a long time doesn't mean that we can't identify it. 
I want you to look at this thing that's being causing this blockage and see if it has a color or a shape or a texture. What black. is that? It's black. All right. What does that black feel like? Does it have a texture to it? It's so heavy. It's heavy. All right. It doesn't want me to speak. It doesn't want you to speak. All right. So I want you to look at that black thing there. doesn't want you to speak. And I want you to find out, is this something that young Faye created or something attached to her? You'll be able to know right away. What is that? Did she create that? Yes, she created that. She created that. All right. Well, that's fine. Because even if you create something, you can transform it. Let's find out what that is that she created. And we're going to go to the origin of when she created this. We're going to travel through time and space. I want you to find a word or a sentence that describes this black thing. What is it? What is it made out of? Look Worry. Worry, very good. So I'd like for you to find a sentence that describes this worry. No one to take care of me. <laughs> no one to take care of me, very good. So I'm going to count from five to one, and I want you to find the beginning of when that happened. Five, going back in time to see when this was created. Four, getting younger and younger, finding the origin of no one to take care of me. Two, going back even farther. And one, be there now, be there now. Are you indoors or outdoors? Uh, indoors. Indoors. Look around you. How old are you? I feel like very young. Very young. How old are you? Are you a little girl or a baby? I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Where are you? Laying down. You're laying down. <laughs> so I want you to look around you and see. Is there anyone around you with you? No. No. Where's your mommy and daddy? <laughs> Go to work. They went to work. And they left you by yourself? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm crying, crying, crying. Nobody can hear me. Mm -hmm. I want you to, in those tears, I want you to give me the words that you're thinking about as you're crying. What are those feelings? What are your tears saying? Go ahead and say those words that are coming out now. I'm so low and sinking down into a dark, dark space. I'm sinking down? Mm -hmm. They won't be able to reach me. They won't be able to reach me? What is this dark place you're sinking into? Take a look and see. What is this place? Interesting question. I mm -hmm. don't know. Mm -hmm. Is this a place that you created? Did you create this dark place? Maybe. Uh -huh. Is this a place where you feel safe? What is this dark place? What is this dark place? Feel it. It is a place I feel safe. A place you feel safe. Very and good. alone. A place where you feel safe and alone. Yeah. In this place where you feel safe and alone. Is there anyone else there that's there watching you? <gasps> Look around. Look around and see. Yeah, if you're I think I am. Do you see eyes there? Only one eye is so big. One eye is so big. Oh, it's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Why? Let's find out whose eye that is. I'd like for you to ask, who is this eye? Who are you? Mm -hmm. And I want you to listen for the answer. I'm your mom. I'm your mom. Mm -hmm. Please 
to hug me. Mm -hmm. Ask for your mom to hug you now. That's strange. Mm -hmm. I feel like myself is hugging mm -hmm. me. And they're giving me a kiss on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now that you understand that you are giving yourself a kiss on the forehead, let's connect. I'd like for that part of you that is giving you a kiss to speak. I'm going to tap your forehead and let's speak to that part of you. Hello? Is Hello. this is this the young Faye that's kissing this baby? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me why you're there comforting her? I am protecting her. I am protecting her. Did you show her this dark place to go to? Uh, yeah. Yes. What's in this dark place? It's the beginning. It's the beginning? Tell me about that. Uh, beginning of what? Mm-hmm. Tell her what the beginning is. You will know you are a powerful one. Mm -hmm. You are your own power. So I'd like for you to tell this little baby why she has chosen to be in this circumstance where she is alone, where she has been left this way. You can't get yourself out. Mm -hmm. You don't need help. Mm -hmm. You are powerful. You just don't know you're so powerful. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and remind her of how to get out of that dark place. How does she get out? I see your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just in your fingertips. Mm -hmm. You create that dark place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why did she create this dark place? Uh, she gave the power to others. She gave the power to others. So can we now get her out of that dark place? Yeah, she just needs to flip her fingers. All right, so go ahead again and start flipping your fingers. And uh, let's work your way out of that dark uh, place. Uh, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> She's so happy. She's so happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's waving her arms. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want you to go ahead and feel that power. Feel yeah. that power. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That's so good. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I have this power a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Even I'm a little baby. I have that power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so why did this little baby choose? Such a difficult situation uh, to be alone. Did she need to learn something from that? Yes. Mm -hmm. What did she need to learn? To know her power. To know her power. To claim her power. Mm -hmm. She denied her power. Now she claimed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so beautiful. The little baby is so happy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> And now that the baby is so happy and understands all of her power, yeah. I want you to see how that changes everything. Look at all the relationships around her when she uses her power. How does that change her relationship? Take a look. See how that has changed everything.
with this power. Oh, she got the power back. Mm -hmm. You know, she gives the power to Wang Xiaoqi. Mm -hmm. She gives the power to mother in law. Mm -hmm. And now they're all back. Mm -hmm. She gives the power to mom. Mm -hmm. She gives the power to dad. Now she can get all the power back. Alright, so go ahead and begin to wiggle those fingers and feel her power coming back. Oh, I have a wing. <laughs> I can fly. Mm. <laughs> Take a look at those beautiful <laughs> wings. How big are those wings that you fly with? Very big. Very big. Big. <laughs> Very big. Very good. I can fly. I can fly so high. It's just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. They open up so big. <laughs> and now with those beautiful, powerful oh. wings that she can fly with all that power, Let's see what she can do to her body. Oh. Take a look and see if that darkness is there anymore. No. No. It disappeared. Mm -hmm. The creep. It disappeared. So what would we like to put in that space now in order for all of that to flow? For compassion. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's put some compassion in there. That's compassion for every kid. Every little one. Every little one. Because she lived that, didn't she? Yeah. Yes. So did she need to live that experience so that she can feel compassion for yes. those children? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No. No. You feel understand what is compassion. Mm -hmm. So she needed to feel that lack of compassion? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she wants to spread all the compassion to all the kids. Mm -hmm. Is that what she's doing now? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now as she sends that <laughs> compassion out to those kids, I want you to see how the energy changes now. Has that energy changed? This compassion yes. for those kids. Like a kiss on the forehead. Like a kiss on the forehead. For like that every, little... every kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel that compassion as it flows. And with compassion, you don't have to give away the power, do you? No. Feel how where the compassion comes from. From every inside. Mm -hmm. The compassion can bring out every kid's own power. Mm, very good. So now in getting her power back, how can that help her acknowledge the power with other kids? She can be a teacher again. She can, she can be a teacher. <laughs> so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yunfei was a teacher, but the teacher practiced power over. Yeah, then Yunfei got so frustrated and scared and tired because of the power over approach. Mm -hmm. So how can she now teach children yeah, without no. the power over approach? Yeah, she can be a teacher, practice power with. She has all the knowledge now. Mm -hmm. She's just afraid. What is it that she's afraid of? Let's focus on that. Uh, judgment. Judgment. In that space. We need to put something in there to flow. And I'd like for you to connect with those trees. Those trees who know that love is the key. What would you like to put in that heart now? 
Let's put love in there. Put in that energy from those trees, that love that flows so beautifully, that feels so good, that knowing that all you have to do is flow that love and connect with love. Yeah. Very Very. good to love in the wind. That's right. Put all that love in there. And I'm going to tap your forehead and seal that love in. Very good. Allow that flow. And now I'd like for you to go ahead and see. Is there any darkness any longer? Look around. No. No. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Very good. Very mm-hmm. good. Let's find out why it is that you chose to be with this mom. I'm going to count from three back to one. And with each number, you will be leaving her tummy and going back into spirit onto the place where you selected these parents. Taking a deep breath in now. Three. Going back in time and space. You become spirit once again. Two. And one. Be there now. In the space of planning. Tell me where you are. Very floating. I'm floating, very good. Do you have some sense of a body in this place? <sighs> How do you represent yourself in this place where you're floating? feel like I have the wings. I have the wings. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like my body is mm-hmm. strange. So I'd like for you to use those wings to travel to the place where you meet with your guides to plan out the lifetime of Yen Fei. I want to see my guide is a bird. Oh, it's so funny. Mm-hmm. The guide is a bird. Mm-hmm. And I have wings. Mm-hmm. And where is this place where you're meeting with your guide? Uh, top of the mountain, so high, 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 high mm-hmm. up. Nobody can reach it, but mm-hmm. only we can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we are two proud birds. <laughs> two proud birds. Yeah. <laughs> so trying to keep away from everybody else, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and in this place where you meet with your guide, how are we going to determine what this next lifetime is going to be? The lifetime of Yung Fei. What do you plan? Love. Love. Mm-hmm. How are you going to express your love in this lifetime of Yung Fei? Yeah, how can we express love? Oh, such a great question. Mm-hmm. What kind of a place? What kind of a family will this soul live with to express this love? You know, when you learn what is love, Mm -hmm. you have to know what is not Mm. and what is pretend to and what is a love from different perspectives. Mm After you understand all those questions, then you know what is love. Mm -hmm. So that's her her life. That's her life. So she has been learning what love is not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how does she choose those parents? Why is it that she chose them? What did she need to learn from them? Uh, 
strong mom should learn how to love appropriately. Mm-hmm. Mom love you fit so much in her way, but cut underneath her skin. Mm-hmm. That's why she has those skin problems. Ah, so those rashes represent her mother getting under her skin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can she avoid those rashes in the future? To say no. Mm -hmm. She says she doesn't know how to say no. Uh, If she needs give herself an encouragement and he, she has the power to say no. She has the power to say no. And she, if they need to stop that statement, uh, like invisible rope for somebody else give to her. Mm-hmm. When she stops those statements, she release herself. Mm-hmm. So today we found out that she had that darkness that she had created, keeping yeah. her from speaking her truth. I know, I can feel it again mm-hmm. in my heart. Uh-huh. What's causing that one? What is that darkness? Is it something different? Where is that one coming from? Oh, I can feel it's right on the left side of my heart. All right. What is it? Let's identify that. Is that something that she created or something attached to her? Attached. All right. So let's find out what that is. I'm going to bring my hands over that area and I'm going to bring that energy up and as I bring that energy up you can go ahead and lend this energy your voice and your words so that we can help this energy (coughs) there now hello (coughs) are you male or female energy Male. male what is your name please I don't see you don't want to say. Are you embarrassed of your name? No. No. I just don't want to say. Why is it that you don't want to say your name? I like to play. You like to play? I see. Are you young or are you old? Old. Old. How old are you? Very, 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 very old. Well, very old means a lot to different people. Thousands of years old. Thousands of years old. Okay. So for thousands of years you've been playing? Uh, Playing, torturing people. Ah, playing and torturing people. So if you've been doing that, I would think that you would want to say your name. You seem to be very proud. (laughs) Yes, I am. Ah. (laughs) Yeah, you got me. You're very proud of what you've been doing all this time, haven't you? How I'm proud and sad. You're proud and sad. What happened to you? Why is it that you're stuck here and not evolving? What happened? I don't know where to go. You don't know where to go. So I want to ask you, when was the last time that you had a physical body? When was that? Take a look at that body. I just know it's very old. It's very old. So how did that body die? How did you lose that body? Accident. An accident. What kind of accident? What happened to you? Hurt by a tree. You got hurt by what? Tree. By a tree. Did a tree fall on you? Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And when you were hurt by a tree, what happened to your soul? Why didn't you go back home? I'm confused. You're confused. I don't know where to go. 
Okay. So if you got hurt by a tree and don't know where to go, how did you find Young Fei? She's so sad. She's so sad. So you were attracted to her because you're sad too? Yeah. Mm hmm. How old was she when you found her? Uh, very young, you know, like a little baby. Like a baby. Did you find her in that dark place? Where she was crying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did you do with her when you find her? I pushed her darker, darker. You pushed her darker down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've never left her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I push her down a lot. You push her down a lot. Well, you see, it seems to me that you have a lot of power and ability to do that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But do you realize that that power can be used to find your way back home? To find your way out of your confusion? Really? Yes. Did you know that you had that you're ability? Kitty. No, I'm going to show you right now if you're willing to work you're with me. Kitty. I'm going to show you that all this time you could have found your way back home and today we're going to help you. Would you like me to help you? Is that possible? It is. I want you to see that light within you. You have a little spark of light within you. <coughs> Take a look and see. Where is that spark? By what I did, there is no spark. Ah, what did you do that was so bad that there's no spark? I push her down. You push her down. Well, let's find that spark first. And see if it's there. I bring the darkness to her. You bring the darkness to her. Well, I'm sure that young Fay wants to help you today. Find your way back into the light. Let's ask her. I'm going to count from one to three. One, two, and three. Young Fay, do you realize that this entity? was there pushing you down into the light because he is in the darkness. Would you like to assist him today by forgiving him for being so confused so that he can find his way back home? Yes. All right, very good. Take a deep breath in. Very good. Let me speak to this entity now. You there, oh. do you feel the relief that she has forgiven you? Take a look now within you and find that spark of light. It's so tiny. Of course it is, because you can make it bigger. Go ahead and use your intention, your mind, to begin to expand that light within you. I want her to give me more light. You don't, she doesn't need to give you light. That light is within you. You are connected to that source light because that light created you. You really? just forgot it. You just forgot about this, didn't you? <gasps> Expand that light so you can feel it even more. Allow that light to flow in. This is your light, your connection. <gasps> Make it big. Allow it to flow to you. And tell me how that feels. How does that light feel? It's there. That's there, so make it bigger. Make it oh. even bigger now. I'm fighting with light. Ah. Like there are two. One is dark, one is light. Well, don't pay attention to the dark one. The dark one just wants to keep you confused. Do you want to keep being confused? No. No. So don't pay attention. Don't give any attention at all to that dark side. Look at the light and make that bigger. Oh, let's do it. Let's do that. Make it bigger. Yes. 
How does that feel now? <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. So if it feels good, allow it to get even bigger. Make yourself shine as big as the star. Um, Feel the power um, of that light flowing through you. This is your connection to your creator, your source. Feel that love and allow it now to flow to you. This is your true power. You were just confused before. Um, Tell me how that feels now. Getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Make it even bigger. Tell me what happens now. It's bigger. It's bigger. bigger. Mm -hmm. And now that that light is bigger and bigger, I'd like for you to allow me to invite my angels of the white light to surround you. Oh, they hurt me. Mm, they don't hurt you. What did they say to you? Mm -hmm. Feel the love. <laughs> they love me. They love you. I can't so. believe this. So now that you understand that they love you and they forgive you, can you forgive yourself for being so confused for so long and being attached to young Faye? Can you forgive yourself? I'm okay. sorry. All right. Faye. So now I'd like for you to go ahead and begin detaching your darkness, your cords from her body. Pull them out. And young Faye, I'd like for you to make sure that all of the cords connecting you to this dark soul that has now seen the light, pull it all out of your body. Pull it by the roots. Don't allow anything to be there. Don't cut them. Just pull them out. And as you do, they will be dissolved into that light of those angels. And tell me when they have been completely pulled out of this body. Mm -hmm. Keep pulling them out. Pull them all out. Imagine that there's a garden of weeds. Pull them all out. Don't leave anything in. And tell me when you're done. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. And with forgiveness, it allows you to dissolve those ropes connecting you to this entity. And I'd like to call in my team member, Archangel Michael. And I'd like Archangel Michael to escort this entity back home with the angels of the light. Tell me, entity, when you are ready. Very good. So that's my song over there. Mm -hmm. Look around and see if you see any others. There's my wife. Mm -hmm. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Reach for your loved ones now. They've been waiting for you. <laughs> Very good. And now... I'd like to invite Archangel Raphael, the healer, to step forward and put his beautiful green light within this body, allowing this body to shine from within with this healing light, sealing all of that space, all of that darkness that was there before. Just fill the space with this beautiful green healing light patching up where those cords were connected, patching up the aura around this body. Very good. And now that this entity is gone, let's take a scan of this body and see what this body looks like. 
See if there's any other spaces in this body, any other shadows. How does this body look? Something on the waist. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and identify what is on the waist. Is this something that young Faye created or is it something that is attached to her? If I say there is a snake, mm -hmm. is that weird? No. Let's find out what that snake is doing there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my energy, my hand over that waist, and I'm going to allow that snake that energy to come up, 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 and Young Fei, lend the snake your words. Good evening. Snake, why are you there with Young Fei? She lied to me. She lied to you? He invited Oh, me. she invited you. Yeah. When did she invite you? When she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. How did she invite you? What was she asking for? Her fear invited me. Ah, her fear invited you. Okay, what was she afraid of? Her brother mm -hmm. saw a snake mm -hmm. eating a bird. Mm -hmm. and Got so scared. Mm -hmm. Had a high fever for three days. Mm -hmm. Somehow she can f feel those fear from her brother, mm -hmm. and she take on those feelings. I see. So, you've been there all this time. What have you been doing for her all this time? Have you been feeding her fears? Yeah. What kind of fears yeah. have you been feeding her? People. People fears? Fear of other people. Mm -hmm. What do you do when she sees other people? What kind of things do you do to her? Avoid people. Avoid. Like a snake would avoid people, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. She hides from people. She hides from people. All right. Very good. So let's talk to Young Fei right now. Young Fei, do you realize that you invited this snake? And you took on qualities of a snake. When a snake hears people coming, they hide. Do you realize that all this time you have been taking on the qualities of the fear of the snake? Mm, it's so interesting, mm. but it makes sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> and do you realize that if your guide was a bird and you saw the snake eating a bird, what did that mean to you as a child? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What did it represent to you? Yeah, don't eat me. Don't eat me. Mm -hmm. So do you realize now that you were mistaken as a little girl? You took this snake on as if it was going to eat you. Yeah. Eat the wings. Eat your guide. Yeah. Now I'm a bigger bird. Uh -huh, uh -huh. With massive wings. Is there any uh, reason to fear these snakes any longer? No, I'm no. way bigger, bigger. Mm -hmm, very good. So, what would you, can you forgive this snake, first of all, for giving you these fears all this time, now understanding that you created this invitation, you invited the snake in? Yes. All right. Are you willing now to let this snake go? Yeah. All right, very good. So take a deep breath in and let me speak, speak with Snake. Snake, your job has been done. Mm. Mm -hmm. You have fulfilled your need for her fears. She doesn't need these fears any longer. 
you are now dismissed to evolve, to move forward in life. Are you ready now? Okay, I guess I just go. All right, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael to come forward. He is the one who is the healer. And in our times, when you look at medicine, it is represented by a symbol of a snake. In medicine, the snake represents health and healing. Are you ready now to take on that role? Yeah, I said love it. Very good. Oh, I love it. Very good. So I'd like for Archangel Raphael to take you with him so that you can now be one of health and healing. Is that okay with you? Oh, it's so wonderful. Beautiful. I love it. Very good. May the love of the universe and the light always accompany you, Snake. Thank you very much as you detach. Oh from her body and go with the Archangel. And now, I'd like for you to go ahead and look at that waist and see uh, what that space looks like now. Uh, it's light. It's light. <laughs> Very good. Very I'm good. a healing snake. Mm. Oh, I'm a healing snake. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So are you ready now to move forward into the light? Yes. With the uh. archangels. Very good. <laughs> so I'd like for you to go ahead and detach from her body completely. Begin to detach so that you can do your job now as a healing snake. Yeah. There you go. And I'd like you yeah. Young Faye to go ahead and make sure that all of the connection within her body has been detached, pulling out from the roots any energy left by the snake in her waist, in her body. Let's all go. And I leave the healing power to you, Faye, too. Very good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that. And now, let's take a look at this body and let's find out where these migraines are coming from. Let's do a scan of the body and find out what is associated with these migraines. What is the message that these headaches are giving her? Don't listen to some stuff from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Some are very good, some are not that good. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to focus in on those that are giving her headaches. I want you to show her a picture in her mind of the ones that are toxic the ones that are affecting her negatively. <sighs> She'll feel them. Yeah, she listened some message hidden behind the music. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to show her what the video looks like and put a big X in front of it so that she knows. Yeah, it's so um, like um, reshape the body. Mm -hmm. no, so she doesn't need the... All right. So let's take a look at her mind and see what has happened, what has been reshaped in her mind. Access those parts 
and let's begin to bring them back to the original form. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much. And now when she feel my cringe, she can always ask All right. for help. Very good. So she needs to ask in order for help to be given to her. Yeah. Good. So what's happening to her when she's sleeping? She says sometimes she feels like she can't breathe. Is this a rope that she has around her? What is causing this? <sighs> The rope around the mouth, mm -hmm. hold the mouth open. Mm -hmm. Where did it come from? Did she create this rope? Yes. All right, let's find out why she created it. What was the reason she did this? It's a void. It's don't speak out. Don't show your light. Mm -hmm. Don't show your brightness. Mm -hmm. Is this her rope, or is this her mother's rope that she took? It sounds like what she heard when she was a little tiny baby in the womb. Did she take her mother's rope and put it around her mouth? Yeah. Does she need to carry a souvenir of her mother's rope with her, saying the same thing to her? Is this her truth? No. No. All right. And now she's learning how to speak. Mm -hmm. How to speak in a... So who would you like to give that rope to? Uh, I give back to universe. Very good. So allow yourself the ability to take that rope off of your mouth and just mm. fling it up to the universe. Mm, yeah. Set yourself free. You don't need this rope that you created from those thoughts that came from grandmother and grandfather talking to your mother. You don't need that anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go back to you in the mm -hmm. Very good. So let's take a look and see. How, her, how does her body look now? Any other ropes that she has tying her down, tying her back from moving forward? Um, I still have a... Fear someplace, but I don't know where it is now. All right, so let's shine a light. I want you to imagine a big, huge spotlight going through that whole light. See where this fear is that's hiding. Make sure it's like a big flashlight. Let's find this fear. What is that fear? Oh, it's a fear in the toe, so strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's find out what the energy is. Um, is this something that she created or attached to her? Let's see. Don't know. All right, and you say it's in the toes, both toes. The left foot. The left foot. Okay. So I'm going to take the toes and I'm going to shake those toes, and we're going to bring that energy up. I'm going to take both of them, and we're going to just shake the energy to come up. <sighs> up, 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 up. Feel that energy coming up, not hiding in the toes. Feel it coming up, 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 up. Lend. These fears, your voice. You in the toes. What is this fear? Who are you? Male or female energy? Um, 
Interesting. I want to say male, but I feel female. All right, so let's find out. Do you have a name? Kai. Kai. Kai, how old are you? I don't know. Kai? Look at the body before it died. Look at your body before it died. How old are you? I want to say very young. Very young. Are you a baby? Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel comfort. You feel comfort. In her body. Mm -hmm. Kai, how do you know young Faye? Uh, when she is crying, I find her. When she was crying as a baby, you found her? Yeah. Were you a baby too? Yeah. What happened to your body? Uh, I was died during the birth. You died during the birth. So you wanted to have a body, so you connected with young Fei? Uh, but baby, you weren't meant to have this body. Why are you attached to her? It feels good. It feels good. Baby, do you know that when you died in that body, you should have gone back home, back home to God, to the Creator? Did you know that, baby? Afraid of my mission. You afraid of the mission? So I died. Okay. So what I'd like to do is ask baby for your guide to come and join you. This is your guide that has been waiting for you to acknowledge that you came here for a mission and your mission may have already been accomplished. I'd like for you now to look out and see your guy coming towards you. A bear? A bear. <sighs> it's ridiculous. Ask your bear what your mission was. Hmm. What was baby's mission? Something coming to the earth. Something coming to the earth. Did you accomplish your mission? Was there something that you needed to teach your parents? Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. They are afraid. They are afraid? Yeah. So, by you dying, what happened? They are afraid that Responsibility. Mm. You're afraid of responsibility? To have a kid. So you left? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm afraid too. That's a f because What's you've detached there? yourself. You've detached yourself from your, from your guidance system. I'd like for you to now join with your bear and ask mm -hmm. your bear if your bear would like to take you back home. The bear is so warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a big hug. <laughs> what does your bear say? Um, is he going to take you back home? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so got the big hug. Give <laughs> Very good. So now, what would you like to say to young Faye? Um, Are you ready to leave her? Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I take a right. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, young Fay. Can you forgive this baby for wanting to just spend this nice time with you? But feeding you fears. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a uh, explore together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Are you ready now to release her and move forward in your life without this fear yeah. of responsibility? Yeah. All right. Good so I'd luck. like mm, good luck. So I'd like for you to detach 
any cords in your feet or your body connecting you with baby. And I'd like to ask the bear to take the baby home. And may the light of the universe always accompany you, baby. Thank you. Tell me when she's there. So now that we have that taken care of, let's talk a little bit about what's been happening to young Faye in her life. We already know that she selected the people in her life so that she can do what she needed to do in this one to face what she came here to do. to know how to claim her power and to use it, knowing that those that came into her life was to show her the contrast, show her the opposite of her power. Does she understand now why she chose the experiences, for example, of her marriage? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can she see why she chose the experience of her daughter? Daughter is another her. Mm -hmm. How can she help her daughter? She's compared to different lines. Mm -hmm. So close with mom, and mom is far away, only reached by Skype. Mm -hmm. Why have they created that situation for themselves? Her daughter is a strong one too. Mm -hmm. Is she learning to use her power? Yeah, mm -hmm. she's getting out. Mm -hmm. She's getting her power mm -hmm. right now. So how can she help her daughter awaken? Mm. Is that something that she's responsible for? No, no, mm -hmm. it's not her responsibility. So what can she do to be a better mom when, to help her daughter? When daughter asks her, her and she's there to provide some guidance. All That's right. enough. That's enough. Very good. And what about Mike? Does she know Mike from different lifetimes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What agreement did they make in this one? Why are they together now? beacon of light together yeah mm -hmm. so they're very powerful together yeah does she need to give away her power no no it's a power with a power with with him yeah it's only power with really works mm -hmm. but this power with I would imagine works when he is sober what happens when Mike drinks what happens to him that he changes so much? He needs to work on it. That's his journey. That's his journey. All right. Who is working with Mike as far as guidance? Does he have his guides that are working with him? Yes. Mm -hmm. But Mike need to ask his own guide. Mm -hmm. So they cannot help unless he asks. Yes. Very he needs to ask. Mm -hmm. That's Yuffie's message to Mike. That's his message. Very good. He needs to ask. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Yeah. He has the power in. He has the power to overcome, but he has to claim his power. And that's something that Young Fei cannot do for him. No. No. Very good. Just a question about what has been happening to Young Fei now as she is moving forward so quickly in her spiritual path. She's seeing sequential numbers. She's seeing things in her sleep like a web. She's seeing sparks of light from her eyes, from the side of her eyes. What is happening to Young Fei? What are all of these things that she's seeing? Uh, she's going back and forth, mm. different realm, different different realms. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When she sees, for example, the number three twenty one or nine one one all the time, what is that message for her? She has a role in this world mm -hmm. on earth. She has a role. What is the role? The role is help those kids. Help those kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is she doing that now? Mm -hmm. She can do more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's wondering, how can she do more? Should she be going out and working or staying at home? Uh, she should go out. She should go out. Yeah, mm -hmm. do more. Mm -hmm. Do more of those circles. Do more circles with them? Yeah, mm -hmm. she can do circle with kids, with parents, with teachers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when she's in the circle, she doesn't hide anymore. She's authentic. Yeah. So is she projecting to those kids how to be authentic and claim their power? Yeah, and give them the love to overcome the control from parents. Mm -hmm. These circles, are they going to be in China or in the U.S.? Where should she be? Where is she needed? In China. In China. What? Well, why sh was she brought to China to live there? What is it that she's needed there for? Lots of kids need her. Mm -hmm. And the mic. They need both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kids. The kids really need them. Mm -hmm. They are fighting the dark power over there. Mm -hmm. It's not easy for them. So how can this beautiful winged being named Young Fei, this angel, help these kids even more? Help those social emotional learning mm -hmm. program going on in the schools in China. Go to the school system? I have something stop me speak. Mm -hmm. Right now I think my heart hurts. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see what's in that heart. What is this big thing that needs to come out? Yeah, why do they stop me when I talk about love mm -hmm. from the kid? All right, so what I'd like for you to do now is I'd like for you, young Fei, to imagine yourself there, speaking to those kids. And I'd like for you to see yourself putting your roots deep into the earth, beyond all of those buildings, beyond nature. I want you to now become that tree. Oh. <sighs> 
Oh, now I understand. And I'd like for you to extend your branches out for all of those children to come to your branches, all of those sad children, and feel your love. You are the tree, you are the love. And see how those children change beneath your branches, beneath your wings. I need a network. Mm -hmm. When I do what Yunfei do by herself, mm -hmm. sometimes she feels drained. She needs a network like a tree. Mm -hmm. And she needs to connect to a sky. So I'd like for you to show her that blue web that she saw when she went to that realm in her sleep. Show her that web, that network, and tell her what that web, that network was all about. Oh, she can get the power from that net. Mm -hmm. oh, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Allow her to wiggle her fingers and touch that web and pull in that power. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Connect. Connect with that web. That's a healing power. That's mm -hmm. her healing power. It's blue. Mm -hmm. Now she knows. Yeah, she has a healing power. Oh, mm -hmm. that. wonderful. And now that she is connected with this oh, healing power, yeah. what is her next step? What does she need to do now to progress spiritually on this path? Within the circle, that's her power too. Mm -hmm. So find a way to create a circle. If the job couldn't provide, then they just do volunteer. Mm -hmm. Very good. The power of the circle is the most important. Yeah. Very good. It's a connection. Mm -hmm. Everybody got brighter in the circle. Beautiful. Very good. So I'd like for you now to use that power connected to that web and send that power through the entire body. Feeling that power become more and more energized. As young Faye sees herself now projected into the future in those circles like a beautiful large oak tree overlooking with her branches helping those Mm. using her love that she receives directly from Gaia, from that web, to knit out into the, all of those children that need her love, need her compassion, mm. allowing her to project her own power so they could see theirs. That web is from underneath the earth. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful that the web connect all the trees. Mm -hmm. So connect to that web and bring in that power. Knowing now that she can speak her truth, she could be who she is, emitting her love, not needing to take power from anybody else, understanding that everyone is on their own path, 
and it has nothing to do with hers. She is here on a mission, on a journey to progress and to allow all of those that she comes in contact with to just emit their own power. And as she lights up each one on her web, it allows Gaia to feel the power coming back, yeah. the love. She can connect to those power into a web, into a net. Mm-hmm. Very mm. good. So now that she is connected, do you have a message for young Faye? A message that you have brought her here for from so far away. What would you like to tell her today? Uh, this is some thing from the movie they talk about a lot. Uh, it's from Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. They're in a big gap. And no bridge, no road, no anything. Uh, but from every sigh and from the bottom of the heart, he knows he needs make that step out but there is no road what if I step out and fall but I should step out eventually he step out and the road is right there Mm -hmm. it's so beautiful beautiful so that's what you need to do he knows but he questions himself so much Mm-hmm. And he just needs to step out right now, even. He cannot see the road, but he makes the first step, and the road will show. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are we complete? Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> you did great. Let's switch these stones up so you can ground yourself. You know, I'm, uh, I'm vibrating. You're I guess vibrating. Yeah, many, I why. Many people said that. Now <laughs> I'm saying. And then you're saying it. You're vibrating. You're doing well. Yeah, and it's so hot on this. You know, like, I don't know, it's energy or something. It's so, from my head to toe, it's so different. (laughs) (laughs) So, do you remember much? I feel like I was awake when I Mm talked. You were awake. I I can't talk to sleeping people. Yeah, it's so interesting feeling. Uh (laughs) I remember I'm saying I'm tree. Yeah. And I cried. Yes, so you did. It was beautiful. How long do you think this uh, session was? How did it feel like to you? One hour. One hour? Mm. We are one hour and 54 minutes right now. Wow. It's almost two, two hours? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> A little longer. Yeah, yeah. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah, surprise. I thought I'm so introvert, I wouldn't talk. You did? You talked for a long time. (laughs) (laughs) It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. You got a lot of work done. Yeah. A lot more than you thought? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't know how they come out, but they just... It's a surprise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, how does your body feel bef- besides vibrating? Do you feel lighter? Yeah, yeah, especially the left. Yeah. Left side, I feel so light and mm-hmm. warm. 
Yeah. And my waist. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> your, your waist doesn't feel so tight anymore? Yeah. Amazing, huh? And right now it feels so warm. You know, yeah. I always feel so cold around my waist. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> is this something that you want to share with people or you want to keep it private? <sighs> If it help, I want to share. Mm -hmm. There's some personal stuff there that yeah. probably we should take out. But I mm -hmm. think the rest of it is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you did great. You did okay. fantastic. I want to thank you so much. You're welcome. I feel so good. I feel so happy. <laughs> like something come out. I want... <sighs> I, I can fly. You can fly. <laughs> you have wings. <laughs> yeah, that's so <laughs> feeling. <laughs> yeah, so interesting. Yeah. Good. How do you feel? <sighs> <laughs> I feel great. I feel so. Yeah, it's such a journey. You well, you've had such a journey. Yeah, I want. Right I can, now we're in Miami, and Young Fei, tell them how. Far you came to this session? Yeah, I fly from Beijing and <clears throat> first I take a train to Shanghai, uh -huh. and then <clears throat> plan to fly from Shanghai to Atlanta to Miami, and then the flight canceled. So I stay one night in Shanghai, and then but as for the for the good reason actually, so I got into Atlanta and Miami. In, uh, Decent hours. Yeah. So, how many hours did you travel to oh, get here? Oh, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> 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 so. Right now, for Beijing time will be twenty in the morning. Uh -huh. So I leave my apartment. I left my apartment on sixteenth. So three days. Yeah. Three so days. she's been traveling three days. On, on <laughs> yeah. trains and planes to get to Miami. Yeah. And then you were flying for about two hours on this journey. How do you feel? Yeah, like... Uh, like Was it worth it? Yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, like I'm Tell waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm waiting for this for a long time. Yeah. 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 So we had a lot of work done and uh, some of this will be edit it out because it does have to do with personal, uh, with family and things like that. And we always pull out anything that has to do with family because it's mm -hmm. not not right to put that out there. But um, everything else was pretty wonderful. The tree was a beautiful thing. Mm, yeah. yeah. And did you feel that you were hypnotized? Yeah, about hypnotized. That's interesting. Like, I feel like um, that's me yeah, talking. It was. I, yeah. There was nobody else here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. But uh, sometimes uh, what I said surprised me. That's right. And that's right. Uh, sometimes I say, oh, really? Yeah. Is that what I said? Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's what happens. And even when I'm doing these sessions, I am channeling too. So when I'm putting, connecting dots and saying things, I'm as surprised as you are as to what's coming out of my mouth. So we're both in trance while this is happening. Interesting, yeah, huh? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And thank you very much. You're for welcome. All, like, yeah, your tuition, you ask a question. It's so, so brilliant, your question. <laughs> well, I wish I could take credit for it, but it's really my higher <laughs> self who's doing this. <laughs> I guess I can take credit for it, but the fact is I'm allowing also, and this is what's the beauty of this, is that you're allowing and I'm allowing and it makes a beautiful dance. It really is. So do you recommend this to other people? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Before I got in, I thought, oh, I cannot. I will fall asleep because I'm on the jet lag ever since. Yes, and, and, and really that's... That's the thought that most people have that they don't think it's going to happen or they're going to fall asleep. And that's not a problem. Yeah. We talked about it enough before we started so she understood what was going to happen. And that's really what it's all about. Uh, if you want a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. Click on the hypnosis tab. There you'll find something that says 
um, sign up for my newsletter. The newsletter is the only way for you to get sessions with me. It comes out about once a month. And when that email comes out, you must click very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very quickly, um, the calendars and the calendars that I have, each each place that I go to has a different calendar. Each month in Miami has a different calendar. So you click on that link. It pulls it up. If there are sessions there, book it. If not, it means they've been booked and they do book within a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. This was a very nice session, very beautiful, a lot of, a lot of crying <laughs> yeah. and uh, very heartfelt. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks.